As the January transfer window approaches, transfer speculation rumors are starting to heat up. A lot of them with Christian Pulisic from Chelsea. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Filippo. Welcome to Tactical Manager TV. Today, we're going to dive into the transfer rumors, the facts, the fiction, and try to figure out whether Pulisic might or might not leave Chelsea and kind of like talk about each single club in the situation that has been rumored to see if it's a good fit for him and if it if it makes sense, right? Because some rumors are just a little bit too crazy. Now for this video, I'm gonna count on the help of Ma, a great soccer YouTuber and podcaster that covers Chelsea on a daily. Make sure to subscribe to his channel, follow him on Twitter as well, I'm putting it on the description. Also, the good thing about bringing Ma is he's not American, so there won't be any American bias right there. It's good to get an English perspective on Christian Pulisic as well. He'll talk about what he thinks of Pulisic in this video. With that said, everyone, comment down below where do you think Pulisic will go if he leaves Chelsea? Also, comment if you think Pulisic will leave Chelsea, essentially. I'll give you my opinion at the end of the video after we go through all the clubs of the list of the rumors that happen and give my reasoning towards I think if he'll leave or not. Ma will be doing that as well. Hit the like button before we start. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. And let's get to it. Okay, before we dive into any clubs or if it's possible or not, let's go through the facts of why a transfer this January is possible. Because if there's no reason, then there's no reason to make this video. So let's go through a few facts of why it is very possible that he could leave this January. The first one is it has been confirmed by Fabrizio Romano, one of the most reliable transfer talk sources in the world, that Christian Pulisic is unhappy with the situation on Chelsea as a super sub or essentially as a, a role player or a sub. So Romano has confirmed that. Now, something else that's been happening, also talked about Fabrizio Romano and many different sources, is Chelsea is looking for a forward. And it's been speculated that Eden Hazard could come back on the loan. They've been after Chiesa. There's been many rumors. So if Chelsea is pursuing a forward, that means someone could be leaving because they're definitely not thin there. But if someone leaves, they need to sign someone, but they don't need someone right now. That's essentially what I'm saying. So the rumors among Hazard or Chiesa arriving also play a role on this, on the reasoning behind Christian Pulisic leaving Chelsea. There have also been reports, even though Thomas Tuchel hasn't confirmed this, there have been reports that Thomas Tuchel has authorized Chelsea to sell Pulisic if the price is right. And it's speculated that they would want somewhere around maybe 50 million euros, which wouldn't recoup the entire investment, but it'll be a good substantial amount of money. Now, something else to say is maybe he just needs a fresh start. Prishan Pulisic has been having a lot of injuries. He's been in and out of the starting 11. Maybe he needs someone alone or somewhere that he would just get consistent play. Last but not least, the last reason is pretty much summarizing everything I just said. Where there is smoke, there is fire. So these speculations are not for no reason. Now, my opinion before I dive into the clubs is if he's going to leave Chelsea in January, if it's in January, I think it would be a loan. So let me explain now why I think it's a loan. Then let's bring in Ma to give his opinion and I'll go through every single club that has been speculated. All right. So off to the first reason. And the first reason is pretty straightforward. If they try to sell him in the January transfer window instead of loaning, they're not gonna recoup the entire investment or even part of it. Usually the transfers fees in January are much lower. So they invested roughly $70 million in, in Christian Pulisic and they're not gonna recoup this on a sale in January, especially with all the injuries. Will they wanna sell Pulisic on a loss? Maybe in the future, but definitely not right now. And a very young, talented player that has shown a lot of promise with them throughout his short period at Chelsea. Now, another reason I think he'll go on a loan is he's young. Pulisic is young, he's talented, showed sparks of talent, and Chelsea has made mistakes in the past of giving up on players too early, some world-class players, and one of them specific caught my attention when I was doing my research, which was Robin. During the three seasons at Chelsea, Robin missed 65 matches back in the 2000s. He was even called man of glass by the media. He went to Real Madrid. They sold him early for 25 million pounds, which to be fair, he still had injury issues at Real Madrid. But eventually he landed at Bayern and the rest is history. Chelsea would most certainly not want to make the same mistake they made with Robin with Christian Pulisic. Now to that list as well, even though they weren't injury prones, it was more just giving up on players early. We all know Chelsea gave up too early on Kevin De Bruyne. Lukaku, to be fair as well, Mo Salah. So they could take that into account and be a little more cautious with this and perhaps 
give Pulisic a loan, see how he does in a year or two, and then bring him back. Because we know the potential Christian Pulisic has, and Ma is going to talk about that very soon in the video from a Chelsea fan perspective. The last reason I think would be a loan is I don't think Chelsea is ready to give up on Christian Pulisic because they don't want to give up on the American market, right? You don't want to sign an American just for marketing purposes. So Christian Pulisic is the perfect one. He is not a marketing signing. Does he help with the marketing? Yes, you make a lot of money by diving into the American market. But Christian Pulisic is a player that can perform at a high level for Chelsea and fight for starting job. So I don't think they're ready to give up on him. And if he stays healthy and plays consistently, he can definitely fight for a starting job. With that said, everyone, now let's bring in Ma and hear a perspective from an English soccer fan or football, as he calls it, and see what a Chelsea fan has to say about Pulisic and whether he thinks Pulisic will leave or not. And if he does, does he want him to leave? Well... Let's bring in Ma and let's find out. Before Ma comes in, don't forget to hit that like button real quick. All right, Ma, thank you very much for being here. Obviously, the goal of this section of the video is to bring an unbiased opinion because as an American, I do have tendencies to have bias for Pulisic. I have no shame on saying that, and I think many American fans do as well. But now we're bringing you here. You follow Chelsea more than anybody, and you have your opinion. The first thing I want to ask you before I say, firstly, thank you for being here. Is Pulisic leaving this January? <laughs> for me, for me, absolutely not. Um, because if he was to leave this January, we would leave our team in a state where we're too thin. I think it would be unfair as well to judge him in January, considering the fact that he was injured for so, so much of that Premier League period now. So from Crystal Palace in the first game where he scored up until very recently, he's been injured, um, obviously due to the game that he, he played with the US. So... For me personally, I think January is just impossible. There, there's there's no chance for a move there. I think it's very unlikely any key players move, but there are a couple, but he wouldn't be, you know, in that pecking order for me. Now in the summer, that's a completely different situation for sure. But in January, no way. Now, one thing that I was wondering from your Chelsea fan perspective and even locally there, Pulisic definitely shows sparks of talent several times when he plays but he keeps getting these small injuries that are very frustrating for the u.s fan base and i'm assuming for the chelsea fan base it's equally as frustrating yeah so do you personally want him to leave and if you wanted him to leave would you want it to be just sell him i don't want to deal with this anymore talented but constantly injured or hey maybe we should loan him out go somewhere else see if he recovers not give up on a 22 right now i believe he's 22 20 23. Anything, yeah. what is your take on that as a chelsea fan i don't want him to leave because i think he is extremely talented you know you only have to look at this kid from dortmund you know through through the through the years at a very young age excelling there on the european stage domestically for them um he's a different type of winger as well he's not your modern day maybe goal scoring winger that puts up high statistics but he's very very creative and we've seen that at chelsea as well you know in the, in, the, in the bursts and the opportunities that he has had, he's been, you know, very good. Of course, he's going to be inconsistent. He's a young player. We expect that. That's not something that we're going to, you know, have against him then. All of our young players are very inconsistent, bar maybe Reese James. But my, my thing with Pulisic is the injuries, like you said. And I'm not at that breaking point yet, but I do think this season is extremely crucial. And it's not a good start. It's not a good start. If we're judging it so far this season, it's not a good start because we need, you know, I've always said availability is, is one of your best abilities. And if he can't play, then he's no longer value for money. And value for money in this game is very important. You're taking up a squad space. I've always said that. So, you know, if Pulisic can't stay fit consistently, he's never going to reach his potential. He's never going to be the player that he could be because he's always going to be halted. He's always going to be on pause every time he get, gains some momentum. Um, and it's funny because I think his, you know, goals and assists to minutes ratio is probably one of the best for Chelsea in the last couple of years. Maybe second um, to someone, I'm not, I am can't quite remember the name, but he's very high up there in terms of minutes to contributions. But again, it's those injuries. So I'm not there yet, but I feel me and many Chelsea fans may get there in the summer if he picks up another big injury saying we don't see him for a large part of the second half of the season. Then, you know, how can we really move forward with a, with a player like that? So last but not least, you mentioned that you don't believe he'll leave in January and you don't want him to leave in January. But mm -hmm. let's say the season goes on and Pulisic continues to be productive in limited minutes, but keeps picking up these silly knocks and mm -hmm. hamstring injuries and all that. Mm -hmm. Then during the summer, if he leaves, would you want him to just sell him? We're over this. Or would you prefer Chelsea to give him another chance by loaning him and seeing what he does in the season? And if it's a loan, is there any team that comes to mind that you would like to see him? Um, I think it's difficult because I feel like with, with his injury issues, I'm very worried that it's not going to get any better. 
partly because the position that he plays, um, you know, it's a position that in the Premier League, especially, you're going to get hacked down. You're going to take a number of hits. We had it with Hazard. Um, these dribbling, you know, ball carrying wingers, you know, they are going to get a lot of tackles on them and they are going to get a lot of knocks and, and ankle injuries potentially. And that's where Pulisic struggles. So if you're not able to ride those challenges, I don't see those injuries getting better in the Premier League. Now, that's where the loan comes in. I don't know if a loan is really going to solve the situation. The, the loans usually for me are about development. They're about improving your ability. But, you know, if he goes out on loan, we're, we're trying to see less injuries. Now, is that due to their medical te team? Is that due to him developing? I'm not sure. But I think for me personally, I'd probably be looking at, you know, it depends on the price. If we get a really, really good offer that, that for me is maybe even near matching what we paid, um, then I would probably just say sell um, and, and, and bring in someone to replace. I'm not a massive fan of loans um, at anymore unless they're with really young players or they're you know or, or it's a really really big reason but i feel like we know he's talented so it would be down to injuries um and and therefore you just have to just sell and move on and, and replace him yeah it would be hard to recoup the investment if he's still injury prone right if he's playing yeah you can eventually recoup it but injury prone that'll be all but ma once again thank you very much for your honest opinion on there so it seems like if Pulisic is injury, injury prone for the rest of the season, some mm. Chelsea fans are definitely willing to let go. Mm. Yeah, 100%. I think so. And it's, it's more out of frustration than anything, you know. Um, we, we really just want to see, you know, we just want to see players that are good, which he is, but also available so we can actually have mm. some consistency in the team. Um, right now, we don't have that. And, and unfortunately, in a position that he plays, some of the positions that the best players in the world play. So you can get someone out there who is reliable, but can also, you know, stay fit as well. So that's that's where the issue comes in. Thank you very much, Ma. You All right. You heard it from me. You heard it from Ma. Now it's time to go through the list of clubs that are interested on signing Pulisic. And I'm going to give you the reasoning for each one, whether it's possible or not, if it's even a reasonable one. Now, I'm only going to go through a couple, roughly five clubs, which are the major speculations. And if Pulisic is to get a transfer, it'll likely be one of the ones listed so the first one right away that we want to mention is barcelona this one has been heavily rumored fabricio romano said pulisic is not happy as we already mentioned and apparently according to romano xavi does rate pulisic and would love to have him plus barcelona is a little thin on the wingers remember they were playing even Sergio des there out of position the only issues i see with this is barcelona is on a 10 million dollar transfer budget that will not be enough to buy pulisic which brings me back to my point it would have to be a loan now the other one would be chelsea maybe doing a player swap and we have heard that chelsea does want de young and he could be willing to maybe do a swap there pulisic for frankie de young another young promising player that is actually very very talented i also do have to say that barcelona is in over 1 billion in debt so they definitely can't afford pulisic right now in this transfer window so if it happens it's going to be a swap or a loan do I like that transfer? I think it'll be interesting. I know Dustin, the producer in the channel, definitely loves it. And after talking to him, I think it could be an interesting transfer. If he goes to La Liga, a little bit less physical, so maybe less demanding on Pulisic's body in regards to injuries. I think he would start for Barcelona and he would probably perform very well in La Liga as well. I'm not opposed to it. My only problem in Barcelona is that club is a complete mess at the moment. And I think Xavi will prioritize La Masia players. That is something that would worry me as well. Now let's go to the next club. The next club I want to talk about real quick that there were some rumors is Genoa from Italy in the Serie A. Personally, I don't think this one will happen. Genoa has been struggling and they've been fighting for, against relegation this season. Shevchenko wants to reinforce the team to escape relegation and he even said to fight for the Scudetto, the Italian league title in the future. Pulisic is on his plans. But this to me is just mere speculation. I don't see Pulisic going to Genoa. The third club I want to talk about is Liverpool. And yes, there have been rumors about Liverpool as well. And this is not the first time we hear Liverpool being interested in Pulisic. We've heard that in the past as well. It has been said that Klopp is looking for a versatile winger and he truly rates and likes Christian Pulisic. I mean, who doesn't, to be honest? However, it'll be tough to convince Chelsea to sell to one of their rivals, Liverpool. And I mean, they do like to play with wingers that pinch in, so that is good for Pulisic. The only issues I have with it is, one, he won't start over a healthy Salah and Mane right now. But for the long term, it could be good as those players are reaching the 30s or some of them already are. But there's one thing that worries me. The one thing that worries me is their pressing system. They have a very intense pressing system. That is the way Klopp likes to play. It's their system and how they're going to play regardless. Pulisic is very injury prone. That might not be the best for him. But in regards to tactics and to fit in, he would definitely fit into Liverpool. I just don't think he would start. I personally 
would not want Liverpool for the short term, even though he would probably be a super sub, so he wouldn't get as many minutes and maybe he could handle the pressing system in less minutes. Option number four, I'm going to be very brief on this one because it was just a speculation from, I think, a month or two ago. It was of Pulisic returning to Borussia Dortmund. Is that possible? I mean, yes, he does have a relationship with the club. He has played there before. Do I love it? I would be okay with that if he went back to Dortmund. Uh, he would be playing alongside Giovanni Reina. He, we know he can perform in Bundesliga, so that is a possibility. That I, I personally don't think will happen, but I do have to list it because it was on the transfer rumors and definitely Dortmund is a possible outcome. But one thing to say about Dortmund, there's absolutely no way Chelsea would convince them to pay what Chelsea paid for Pulisic. So it'd have to be a loan or Chelsea would have to be willing to take a loss on this transfer. Last but not least and stay in Bundesliga, Bayern. And this hasn't really heated up as of late, but the transfer rumors from Bayern happened early in the season and Bayern has been monitoring the situation with Christian Pulisic. Look, as we said, we know he can perform in the Bundesliga. He would likely be an impact player for Bayern, but more of a rotation player. Start a few games, be on the bench as well. They do have Gnabry, Sané, Coleman. Muller can play there, Thomas Muller. Muziala can play wide as well, but he would definitely be in the rotation. Not the ideal move in my personal opinion, but could go very well. As I said earlier in the video, it worked for Robin. Why can't it work for Pulisic? Even though Arjun Robin did have to make a quick stop at Real Madrid. And no, I'm not saying he's going to be in the same level as Robin in his career, but Christian Pulisic has a very high ceiling, so we never know. He could still, if like, he doesn't even have to develop that much. He just has to stay healthy. Now, these are the list of clubs that popped out the past three to four months. There's going to be more as we approach January, and the transfer is possible. However, just giving you my personal opinion now in the final section of the video, I can tell you, I think he's going to stay in January. All right, everyone, just as I said, my opinion, I think he stays. And overall, I'm neutral. I don't really care where Pulisic goes. I just want him to be healthy. And I think if healthy, he can have an impact in whatever club he goes to. Come down below your thoughts, because those are mine. So they don't matter that much. Come down below. I will be reading your comments. I want to know what you think. Should Pulisic leave Chelsea? If he should, where should he go? And tell me why. Just like the Backstreet Boys. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Don't forget to hit the like button before you go. And have a great day.